Hey there, this is Brad from FirstSightGuide.com, and in this video, we'll be comparing WordPress.com and Blogger.com, two free online blogging platforms. I'll go through some of the reasons to use them, as well as the potential downsides. Let's get started. Okay, so like I mentioned in the intro, both WordPress.com and Blogger.com are free online blogging platforms that allow you to publish your own posts and pages. I'll go ahead and show you examples of both, and then we'll go through a couple of pros and cons. I'll also give you our overall recommendation. When using WordPress.com, you'll be shown this page where you'll click to create your website, and then walk through setting up your account. You'll be given a free blog, similar to this one, with the ability to change your theme, add posts, and pages. Your URL will be a subdomain on the WordPress.com domain, so it'll be yourblogsname.wordpress.com. As for blogger.com, the service is ran through Google, so you'll either log in or sign up, and they'll give you access to your own blog through their free service. It'll look something like this. Now, as far as Blogger goes when it comes to ownership, one of the major downsides is that you're not in control of your data, and the service could essentially disappear at any time. Is that likely to happen? No, probably not. But it's a bad idea not to have full control of your blog. You're a little better off on WordPress.com, as you can export your blog data easier, but you're pretty much in the same boat since you're hosted on a free service that you're not controlling. When it comes to adjusting the look and feel of your blog, Blogger.com only gives you a handful of themes that you can then customize and change up a bit. Again, you're limited on what you're able to change and adjust due to being on their free platform. With WordPress.com, you have more options and themes to choose from within the theme section. However, since you're not self-hosting your blog, you are limited to what WordPress chooses to support, and you're unable to make manual changes to your chosen theme. While you can move your blog later, Blogger.com is harder to export your data from when compared to WordPress.com, although both aren't the best foundation for your new blog since they both use subdomains and not your own domain. Once you publish your blog posts, gain some followers and search engine rankings, all of this can be negatively affected down the road when you're switching services and changing domains. Now, in the end, this is why we recommend self-hosting your own WordPress installation through a web hosting account that you control. If you're casually blogging, it's okay to use blogger.com or wordpress.com, but if you're serious about your new blog, we recommend following along with our self-hosted guide on how to start your own WordPress blog on FirstSiteGuide.com. It's much easier and more affordable than you'd think, and best of all, you'll be in total control of your domain, data, and your posts. As always, if you have any questions or need help, please visit us at FirstSiteGuide.com. We'd be happy to help you out. Take care and enjoy your new blog.